guys, this is Jalen from Last Day's Home Study. Today we're going to be doing part two of an interview with Aunt Shirley, and I'm going to go ahead and say the first question. Well, hey, does anybody want to say hey? You got some guests with you. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. my cousin Daisy with me. Oh, hey, Daisy. She watched Hi. the video. She was helping me scoop up the horse. Oh, yeah, that was her, wasn't it? Yeah, and I dumped it. I <laughs> know, that was awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, Aunt Shirley, how you doing? Doing pretty good today. Okay. Well, Jaden, you ready to get started? Yeah. Sir. All right. Aunt Shirley, I've never met my papa's mom, Daisy, my grandmother, my great-great-grandmother. What are some things you remember about her? Oh, she was a very funny person. You would just have loved her, and she would have loved you, too. Uh, she was outgoing, and uh, she could just, she was uh, the main one in every uh, aspect of life. She, she was just a jolly person. She made you feel good. She made you happy. She was always a happy person. I remember that about Mama. Yeah, she's she always was. looking for the good. Yeah. yeah. Question yeah. number two. Hey, wait a second. Did, <laughs> Even what, though I know nothing. What about was her this name? Person, what was her name? Daisy. Mama Daisy. 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 Did you know that's who you were named after? No. Well, now you do. But well, yeah, I I know who I'm named after. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Now, now it makes uh -huh. sense, don't it? Yeah. All right. Number two. Okay, question number two. Speak up a little bit so everybody can hear you. Do you have any other brothers and sisters? Hmm. Yes, I have brothers and sisters, but they're all gone to be oh. with Jesus. I had uh, Daisy, Betty, James, David Edward, and they're all with Jesus. I'm the only one left. Mom and Dad's gone too. I mean, wow, that is a lot of brothers and sisters. Well, my, I only have two. Well, when I was born, my mom told me, always told me this story. Uncle James had cancer, and he wanted he had one wish that he could be alive to see me be born. And, and I, actually, he died a day or two just before I was born. My mom told me that. Well. Yeah, she sure did. Because he yeah. said he was excited to... Now it's time for Daisy's turn. She's going to read oh, the question. Oh, Daisy, you got some questions? Number three. Number three. What you got? Who taught you how to cook? Oh, that's Ooh. a good question. My, I guess my grandma. Ma Mamma my, Delaney? Mamma Delaney, yeah. She's the one. Her, uh, grandma, uh, Mary Jane. Right. Mary Jane Delaney. Yes, she's the one that taught me to cook because I was around her a lot. When I was little, and uh, she was always in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> wait, she wait. Was, she was a good cook. All right. Can I ask, another, I, can I ask a different question? Uh, let's stick to the cards, and we'll, we may add it to the end. Okay. And my Aunt Emma taught me a lot, too, in North Carolina. Oh. She was a good cook. I Daddy, remember. Daddy's sister. Aunt. We When we lived up there... That her kitchen table stayed full of food. Uh -huh. As soon as you walk in, the house was always hot. Is she the one that couldn't hear very good? No, that was Aunt Willie. Hey, oh, okay. Aunt Willie was a good cook. Too. I remember we walk in there as kids, and if you didn't eat something, you was she was offended. Yeah. She made sure you ate, and that house was always warm. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, as long as she had flour, sugar, cornmeal, and milk. She could put you on a meal. I don't know how she done it, but she could put you a meal on. That's awesome. That's a lost start today, isn't it? Yeah. I know it. Daisy, you got another question? Yeah. Okay. Number four. What was the first thing you ever cooked by yourself? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Probably scrambled eggs. Scrambled that's, that's, eggs. That's the first thing thing that I cooked on of the, what's it called? The stove? Yeah. Yeah. First thing. That's a good go-to for the first time. Yeah. Scrambled eggs. Yeah. All right. And still I'm cooking still, them today. And I'm still making them egg sandwiches today. That's right. <laughs> you put mayonnaise on yours? Yeah. What kind? Uh, JFG. JFG? <laughs> I'm a Duke's guy. When, well, I left home, it, when I left home, I went to Duke's. Uh, I think it was a North Carolina thing. I have number five. Okay. What you got a 
The first got, thing? I got one. Okay. Have you ever made your own clothes or dresses? Oh, yes. And guess what happened one time? What? I was in high school taking home ec, and we had to make uh, something to wear in class. So I decided to make a skirt. Well, guess what? What? Now, this is where I learned my patience. Oh. <laughs> I sewed the skirt to my uh, clothes. Oh, no. And then I didn't realize it till I had it finished. So I had to take the time and take all those stitches back out oh. and redo it. Oh, no. Oh, so no. I, that taught me patience. No kidding. Because material, what well, you didn't, I mean, that's, that was like a... You couldn't just go to the store back then, just get whatever you wanted. No, no, no. you had to take care of the stuff. I'm going to share this now. Oh, no, what's so that? it will be too late. Oh. In art class, we're learning how to sew. Uh-huh. And me and my best friend are making the same thing. And um, we met, we wanted to do one thing, and then we sewed it. And then we accidentally made too much knots in it. So we had to untie those knots, and then we had to ask. Kind of the same that thing. I guess that forever. happens, don't it? That almost took forever. Right, well, now guess this, what? This if might... we had known Shirley had went through that, we could have just picked the phone up and said, hey, hey, Shirley, do you know anything about this? <laughs> she could have told you. Yeah. Well, okay. well now, we know. now we know. All right. What's we the next? Have... What's you, what you got there? Weird question. What's that? When did you go on your first date with a boy? Ah! Oh, 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 the yeah. truth comes out. Oh. The truth. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> no worse. It's in the Bible. Speak the truth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the question again? What did I? When did you go on your first? Oh, let's see. Number seven is going to be really hard. Right. Oh, I uh, don't even want to listen to this. Well, let's listen to it, Shirley. <laughs> I really don't know how to answer that. I guess I was uh, 16. 16? Okay. 16 Who did you go on the date with? Wait a second. That's the question. Hang on. <laughs> I don't uh, It was. Uh, a guy, a guy that lived in this area, and he's passed away now. Okay. Uh, his name was uh, Ralph Brooks. Ralph, where'd, where'd y'all go? Did y'all go to the movie or uh, get some ice cream or something? Ah, uh, I think we just rode around and talked and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. What's Wait, that next question? Seven. All right, number what seven. What your dad think about him? Oh, uh, boy. Well, I remember old Papa Ed. My daddy was very, very strict about that. I remember one time when Daisy was getting ready to go on a date, and uh, he came in, and uh, I guess they were standing too close together, uh -huh. and he was trying to give Daisy a kiss. Oh. Old daddy went off. Oh, he did? Oh, he went off. Did he get the belt after him? Ooh. <laughs> I never ever forget that. So oh, well. back then, you I mean, you had to be... Very careful of how you did and acted. That's right. Yeah, exactly. I remember that. Your parents were very strict. I know it. Not like today. I know. Big, what, big difference. Big difference. Well, you got another question, Jalen? Yeah, um, I got eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. Uh, is there any questions after that? Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Let me see that one. When did you get married? Oh, when, when did, did you get, get married? married? 1958. How, how 1958. Yes. What was your age? What was my age? I was 18 years old. Ooh. Ooh. Did you get married at 18? Well, yeah. So that was uh, Uncle Charles. You get married at 13. Yeah, I was uh, 18 years old. I married Charles. 18 and with how many dates do you have to go on with Charles? Uh. Um, a few, not not a whole lot, but a few. Did you know he was the one? He was the one. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know you was the one, too? Well, I don't know, but I knew he was the one. <laughs> <laughs> he was tall, black-headed, and handsome. And y'all stayed married. Yes. Until yes. death thick, done you part. Through thick and thin. That's right. Together. And he's with the Lord today. Yes. Okay. Would well, you got another question? Yes. How many? children do you have? I had four and one miscarriage. And what's their names, Aunt Shirley? Their names is uh, Debbie, That's Michael, the oldest. Yep. 
Tammy and Susan. Yeah. Which one died? Well, which one had the problem? Which one? Which died? one is no longer here? Which one? You said you had another one. The miscarriage. The miscarriage. Well, yeah, he wasn't wasn't born. That means an early delivery. Yeah. yeah. But we can talk about that a little bit more later or something. But guess what? I believe he's in heaven too. Yes. Growing yes. away. So you'll get to meet him one day. How many grandchildren do you have? Oh my. Seem like uh, the last time I counted it was twenty twenty two or twenty three. That's a lot of kids. Yes. Twenty two. But we had, I had a new great grandson, Ruby's little boy. Daniel. That's right. Daniel. That's Daisy's little brother. Yes. New little yes. brother. Right. <laughs> I was asking about him a while ago. I was hoping for a brother. You was, wasn't you? Yeah, but now, but he's going to turn into a wall of Oh, my goodness. Like Lily. Well, maybe you can teach him all the stuff that you and uh, Lily know. What do you think? Well, right. I don't want to teach him what Lily knows because Lily already attacks me. Oh, well, we don't want to teach that. That's kind of one of those things you don't have to learn. <laughs> you got any more questions? Is that it? Uh, oh, yeah, we have one more. Oh. What advice do you have for young people today? What advice do you have? Uh, think about this one before you answer. <laughs> what advice do you have for young people today? Well, they better get in church and stay in church. And why do they need to get in church? Only hope. Why do they need it in this life? Why do they need to get in church? Because of the world conditions. What's wrong with the and world? So, and soon, the Lord is coming back. Very soon. The Lord is coming back? Yes, and they better be ready. Well, what's going to happen when he comes back? He's going to, the ones that's ready to go, he's going to take us back with him. Oh, so the number one thing is, is they need to get in, get church. in church and know and the Lord Jesus. And live a life well pleasing to him. Hey, Daisy, do you agree with that? Yeah. What about you, Jalen? Yeah. yeah, and we know Aunt Shirley. Okay, well, I've got, this is Papaw time now, so I've got a couple things I want to tell Shirley. The last time we did this interview, we put it up on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Something very amazing happened. First of all, the response was awesome, and the people, when we were on vacation that week, lived about one minute away from where me and Gracie live. And uh, the guy's name is John Anderson, his wife is named Alicia, and so we went, went back, and we was, they was asking about the vacation and all this kind of stuff. So John says, he said, uh, he said Bill, he says, because they watched the video, they watched the channel, and they, he said, where did your great-grandmother live? I said, well, Bluegrass in Concord. He said, so did mine. And uh, I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, how old are you? He's my age. We're both 56. <clears throat> He told me about some of the places he used to play around and stuff like that. And I said, that's interesting. And I told him my mamaw's name was Minnie. And he says, I said, who was your uh, grandmother? And he says, Aura. And uh, remember you had asked about wanting to know, you know, that we had, somehow or another that came up about Aura. And uh, he said, yeah, my grandmother's name was Aura. I said, well, mamaw had a sister named Aura. And uh, he said, no kidding. I said, yeah. So after an hour of conversation, we realized we were cousins. Mm -hmm. We had lived together in the same area for 12 years and didn't even know, even though we were neighborly to one another. Through that video and the interview that you had done, we figured out we've got, we're family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so since then, we was always helping each other anyway. But since then, we've been up there. Me and Gracie went up there and done uh, uh chicken butchering we went through that and helped them clean all their chickens up put them in a freezer and all this kind of stuff so through that interview we learned out we've got a cousin that lives right up the street which was mamma's sister or uh yeah. kin so isn't she that amazing was, she was the oldest sister. yes yeah. so we thought that was pretty amazing because yeah. you see a lot of bad stuff out there but uh, i thought that was a good ending to that that story there right well, girls, you got anything else to say? Daisy, you said you had one more question. Do you remember what it was? What is your biggest fear? Ooh, that is an excellent question. <laughs> what is my biggest fear? And I've got one to close this up. Water. Water. Not having water? No water. Oh, uh, being in uh, water. Uh, swimming. Oh, you never uh, learned how to swim? Uh-uh. 
No, and I'm terrified of it. Really? I love water. I love being around it. And maybe getting in it so far up your, to your ankles or so. Right. I'm, and wading in water, I like doing that. But as far as emerging into it, I'm So drowning, scared. fear of drowning or something. I, I almost drowned you two or three times. Hmm. I almost drowned you two times. My cousin. Water is dangerous. My cousins almost drowned me under a float. Really? Yeah. We were playing on this float and we just got flipped it and it flipped and then I got stuck under it. Amazing. Well, I've got one thing I want to close this out with. The Bible says that we're all appointed unto death. And I've talked about that with Jalen. It, it comes a time where humanity comes to a point that we all die and then comes the judgment. We know that ahead of time that part of living is dying. A lot of times today, people want to leave a legacy before they die, how they want to be remembered by them. How do you want to be remembered, Aunt Cheryl? I want to, people to to see Jesus in my life. No. Uh, he's the main. He's the main person. He's what it's all about, and I want them to see Jesus and my family. And your family, your family to see Jesus also. Yes. Every last one of them. Yes. That'd be an amazing thing. Crazy, I'm thirsty too. All right, girls. You got anything else to say? We're going to close this off. We've been running about 16 minutes. And uh, got anything else to say? You sure? Daisy, yeah. thank you for um, being part of this. And thank you again, Aunt Shirley. You're We've enjoyed it. What's your favorite movie? One uh, more question. Uh, hurry now. We got Because people's attention span is only like they say 15 minutes. So we'll okay. see. Well, bye. Bye? Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thank you. Okay.